this yeah. is obviously a very heavy subject matter, especially for you, Jan. Um, what made you want to tell the story? Well, when my son was born 33 years ago, I got asked if I would tell my story to a group of ladies that were in a book club. And I said, oh, I don't have a book or any of that. And when I went, the questions that they asked, I thought, oh, there is something about my story that causes people to start thinking or having conversations. And so as I moved through my, you know, young adult life and my mother and I started collaborating on a book and, you know, she's taking notes and I'm telling her everything on my side and I want a timeline. It just evolved into, gosh, if we tell the story in the right way that really people can see all of our humanity, we can be exposed, we can be vulnerable, we can tell everything, even the things that are hard to say, maybe they'll see the person close to them that might be a predator or a perpetrator, a sociopath like ours was. It was a slow burn. And most of the time, people can relate to the fact that if it didn't happen to them, because a lot of people, if this kind of abuse has happened to them, it happened to someone close to them. And so we felt like keep telling the story until you get to the platform where it can really be the long game. And in this nine part series, you see the slow burn of this particular predator who looked like every other good guy in our neighborhood and in our community, our congregation. And that's where they hide, right? In plain sight. And that's the, it's the worst kind of abuse. It's such an affront to that trust. And so oftentimes it's never talked about or, or prosecuted for sure. And that's even the case with me, you know, and there were others after me. And so I think telling it in long form with Nick and the writing team, these amazing actors, the production team that we had just made the story relatable. It's a horror story, yes, but it's real and it's told that way. And that's, I hope, will help people relate to and maybe tell their stories, start to get it out, start to heal from their trauma and start to, to get the people that are those predators out of their, out of their lives and, and behind bars because they don't stop. And then Nick, sort of same question for you. What drew you to this story and made you want to bring it to the screen? I was um, profoundly affected by hearing the story. I, I heard it via the documentary originally, like so many other people did. Um, it did not immediately feel to me like, oh, this, I have to do this as a series. I wanted it. But I had questions. I was haunted by it. Um, and so I read the first book that Jan and her mom wrote, um, and hearing it through their voices made me feel like, made me realize it's it's a terrifying story. It is maddening, it's haunting, it's mystifying. Uh, but the more you think about it, the more relatable and human it becomes because everybody has vulnerabilities. We all have weaknesses that could be used against us. And we all have things we've, agreed to or done that we weren't comfortable with. And, and you see how the temperature can get turned up degree by degree. And there can be an accumulation of those things. And you find yourself in a place where, uh, how did this happen? You know, I'm, I'm at a boil. How did I get here? So when I started feeling like this is a really compelling, rich uh, story to tell from a creative point of view, we reached out to Jan. Uh, we started talking to her and and Marianne, and um, and we did we we talked about telling the story together in partnership, and uh, it's been a very meaningful and and profound experience for me as well. <laughs> yes, um, I want to talk about casting, uh, Nick. What were you looking for, especially with like the actor who plays B? I mean, that's just. Um, what made yeah. Jake a great fit? Well, so we had spoken uh, at great length and Jan had told me how truly charismatic this man was and how, you know, there was no, like, he wasn't sinister. He wasn't hiding. It's, it was just like your brother, your uncle, your friend. He was truly, truly magnetic. And we needed somebody who could authentically 
do that and who, who could make the audience understand how this family fell in love with him, how he seems safe and trustworthy and charismatic. Um, and Jake is obviously so likable and so, so um, he just has that quality. And he's also an incredible actor, you know, he could, so he could do all the different things. He could walk the tightrope. And it was so important that we found somebody who, A, you wouldn't expect, and yet is, is somehow perfect, just slots into that role. And somebody who is going to be a force of good behind the camera, because with subject matter this sensitive and intense and child actors, you need your lead, all your adult leads to help you create a place where everybody feels safe and protected and feels like they can do their best work and that that it's going to be a good environment. And Jake was that person. What would you say to encourage someone to watch this, whether it's to, you know, sort of start a conversation with people they know or just in general? Well, I would say, first of all, you know, this goes back to the initial conversation that that Jan and I had, which is, you know, when Jan talked about her goal being to create awareness, you know, what I can do and what I want to do, like goes hand in hand with that, you know, so so in terms of the first thing of like getting people to watch is you're going to have a, a, a gripping experience. You know, this this is a compelling, riveting story. It's a it's an intense thriller. Um, it's character driven. And that investment um, cr helps create awareness. You know, that that's what starts conversations. So I feel, I, you know, our intention was was to kind of combine what we do best and um, and create something that is both deeply uh, you can't look away from it and and you are invested in the people and their story um, and, and it also makes you think and talk and and have conversation that really is the the purpose of why I think you know, I started telling my my story and then mom and I and Q and A's and many speaking engagements just, you know, to to try and let people know that it's okay if you have a story, but don't keep it a secret and get it out because, you know, if we don't have conversations and things, you know, they just mushroom in 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 darkness and in in secret. And that is so bad for the child who is now an adult and ha still hasn't told their story or if they weren't believed. So the things that matter to me are that those who have been victimized by a predator know that there is a safe place where they will be heard, believed, never blamed. And even with my parents, I felt like people are blaming my parents. There's one bad guy in this story and it's the predator. Lots of parents don't see things because it's too close to them, even right now in 2022. And I think that was the, the impetus always of telling the story is that we survived, we thrived, we love each other, our family, you know, it has a happy ending, so to speak. And even in the series, there's that glimmer of hope that I think is so important to give that to people. You can go through something like this. And there is hope in the healing of your journey. It's hard, but you can do it. And, and I want to be that voice too for people who have been harmed and are still holding their story because it's embarrassing or somebody didn't believe them early on and now they've never really told or sh shared it and they're perpetrators at the family reunion and at the cookout they're there you know people have that story a lot of them in 2022 let's get them outside of ourselves and do something good for ourselves first and then for others and that's why we continue to tell it and in this way I feel is the most helpful because people can enter the story it's true crime it's compelling it's horrific but it's also human and it's very it's very common this kind of abuse and it's the least talked about we got to change that you asked what drew us to this story and one more important thing I think is that yes it's a, it's a psychological horror story it's really you know it's a thriller it's scary it's intense but when you get to the end of the story, it is a it is a story about a family overcoming something and, and getting through it and coming um, through a great darkness to a, a place of um, tragic experience, but a, a place of healing and forgiveness. And that was very, 
very powerful. 